My name is Dende. Uh, I'm from Katy, Texas. If you don't know where Katy is, Houston. Think of that, it's outskirts of Houston. Um, I'm a singer, rapper, producer, instrumentalist. That's me, I'm part-time jokester, uh, part-time skit maker. Uh, there's a lot of stuff I do, but uh. Oh shit, my fault, I'm so sorry. Hey, how you doing again? Is that right? <laughs> Yo, I'm probably gonna be the one person who's in almost. Hey. I'm gonna have the most appearances. Hey. I got money on it. I've had, I've worked a lot of different jobs. I have my HVAC license, like AC. <laughs> like, I've worked on cars. I've worked in grocery stores. I've worked in restaurants. My last job was at Juiceland. It's a juice bar. I was a manager. Um, I quit there probably about two months ago, and now I'm sponsored by them, which is wild. So uh, it's a full circle thing. I went to. I went to one like big session that was similar to like the Dreamville sessions, like the Revenge of the Dreamer stuff in Jersey. Um, it was called Sanctuary Sessions. And I came back home and I was just like, ugh, why am I working, bro? Like I was literally working on music all day, but I still kept working because I was like, I need to pay my bills. And then I went to another session called the Herd Sessions in LA. And then after I came back, I was like, I'm not doing this anymore. I just quit. Um, I started driving Lyft for a little while and now I'm kind of steady, so I'm cool. Man. Not doing anything but music. Yeah, I'm running for the mayor of Houston. I'm gonna be the first black mayor of Houston, even though the mayor right now is black. I'm gonna be the first real black mayor. Yeah, um, basically, uh, anybody that votes for me uh, gets free college. Um, we're gonna make sure we uh, run on the platform of, uh, we're all tired of like police brutality, so I'm gonna do mandatory police humiliation. So basically we take their guns, take their handcuffs and stuff. And every time they see a person, they gotta crawl around on the ground. They gotta crawl around, just, just say funny things, you know? Um, another thing is like, uh, once I'm the mayor, uh, I'm going to make sure that uh, I, I get I get access to all the records, like dental records, medical records, COVID records. Most importantly, it's gonna be the arrest records. So like any officer that's ever arrested somebody, uh, one of the people you arrest, you have to live with them for a year. You have to handcuff yourself to them for a year. You have to live with them. We're gonna film it all. Uh, we're gonna send it out to TNT as a show. We're gonna sell it to them because they haven't had a hit in years. That's a fact. I'm gonna sell this show to TNT and that's how we're gonna get tax money because we're not gonna tax anybody in Houston once I'm the mayor. So we're gonna get tax money from TNT. That's a fact. That's all we're gonna do. I would say that if your favorite rapper was even better at singing, that's who I am. And actually has a message for you. What's the message? Um, I would say healing. I want people to heal from their past traumas. Um, even though all the songs aren't about that, a good majority of my songs are to make sure that people heal, only because I'm healing through the songs myself. Like I talk about a lot of personal things, and I realized that the things that I went through and I am going through, other people are going through. There's a lot of people on the earth. So it's just about healing. <sighs> I mean, I'm still <laughs> uncomfortable and doubtful every day, dog. Like, um, I have, I sometimes suffer from like, like depression. Um, so there'll be periods of my life where I'm just like, I don't want to do anything. Uh, I don't want to deal with anything. And I don't want to deal with anybody. Um, definitely when I was listening to my last project, like the more personal tracks, I was like, I don't know if I want to put this out there. Cause like I'd already like touched on some of these subjects just on like in person and talked about them in real life but I didn't know if I wanted to put them out there for like the masses to hear in song form. Uh, so I kind of doubted that, but it's always a struggle, but I mean, we, we can get past it. I do love Dende, which is why I chose him because he's, he's a very overlooked character, but the whole premise of the show, Dragon Ball, is the Dragon Balls grant wishes without Dende the Dragon Balls don't exist, therefore nobody's wishes come true. He's also a healer, like he heals people like lit physically with his hands. Um, so I identify with that person because I do think my music is healing. And also I do think I'm a, I play a bigger role than people think I do at first glance. Um, but my favorite anime is Naruto, which is why I have like the shining on my hands from Naruto. Um, I identify with the character Naruto. He's just kind of like, Nothing really stops him, no matter what. Like, the whole world hated him, but he still kind of overcame it and gained their, like, love eventually. Don't give up. Um, 
17 was a really hard time in my life. Um, with like substance abuse and suicidal like tendencies and thoughts. Tendencies meaning like attempts. Um, I say don't give up. And 17 year old me didn't give up, but it would have helped to hear it. 